The northern pool frog is Britain's rarest amphibian. Unfortunately, in the 1990s, it became extinct here. Since then, the species has been reintroduced to Norfolk from Sweden. Two populations are now established in England, but the species is still regarded as critically endangered here. Additional populations need to be established for the security of this species long term. It has very specific habitat requirements and is unlikely to disperse through our modified landscapes. Its spread to new sites is dependent on translocation, the deliberate movement by humans, and it will probably always be a rare species, confined to a few special sites in the medium term. The Amphibian and Reptile Conservation Trust, ARC, is looking for potential partners and new sites for the northern pool frog. This video describes the pool frog habitat requirements and the kind of sites that are appropriate. Compared with other native amphibians, the northern pool frog is quite fussy about its habitat. It has not been found in ponds on agricultural land. More natural sites are preferable. This might be an existing high quality natural site or agricultural land that's being restored to a more natural state. Historically, the northern pool frog occurred in the East Anglian Fens and Brecks. Although sites within this area are desirable, new sites do not have to be confined to this area. They may be able to survive beyond their historical range limits due to warming summer temperatures. Pool frogs belong to a group of frogs known as water frogs. Some water frogs seem to be benefiting from warmer summers. Non-native water frogs, such as the marsh frog, are now established in many locations in Britain. Water frogs readily hybridise, so contact between northern pool frogs and other water frogs would undermine a northern pool frog introduction. The proximity of any established non-native water frogs is an important consideration. The northern pool frog lives in networks of relatively closely spaced ponds, at least 10 within a few hundred metres of each other. The pond network must be fairly large in order to support a sustainable population. This means a site of at least 10 hectares. Larger is always better. Northern pool frogs breed late in the year, so it's essential that many of the ponds maintain water throughout the summer. Warm ponds that don't dry out are key to northern pool frog breeding success. Ponds should be 15 to 100 metres in diameter, not more than 1.5 metres deep in the centre and with shallow margins. Ponds must be relatively open with extensive areas of unshaded bank and large areas of open water, not overgrown or shaded by vegetation. Northern pool frogs can live alongside other amphibian species, including great crested newts, as well as fish except for large predatory species like pike or trout. Clean, unpolluted water is important. Habitat immediately bordering the ponds should be relatively open to avoid shading the water. There should also be some vegetation cover more distant from the pond, but within a radius of approximately 500 metres. This should include moist understory, such as grassland or moss, and other low-growing vegetation under a woodland canopy. If you own or manage land that you think could be suitable for northern pool frogs, we'd love to hear from you. Please email arc at john.baker at arctrust.org or inquiries at arctrust.org.